Hello all good morning good afternoon good evening welcome back to codingscientist.com you are watching hero to superhero series on python machine learning algorithms all right guys we are on lesson number 8 that is algorithm number 8 for machine learning so it's going to be again a interesting and a popular machine learning algorithm called k means clustering wow it's the name itself is little jazzy isn't it anyways Let's take a look what this algorithm does. So basically, K means clustering is an unsupervised learning algorithm, which is widely used to solve the clustering problem in machine learning or in data science field. This algorithm groups the unlabeled data set into a different clusters, as you can see in the chart, which clearly indicates that the unlabeled data sets are put together in a small dotted formats, right? So here. the k defines k means the number of predefined clusters that need to be created in the process now as if the k equal for example k equal to 2 there will be two different cl clusters and if you define k equal to 3 there will be three different clusters if you define k equal to 5 there's going to be five different clusters so it it depends upon your project need what kind of project you are building using machine learning techniques uh, machine learning algorithms like k means clustering algorithm right so it all depends upon the data you feed and how you want to cluster those data sets into different uh, magnitude right so k means clustering algorithm computes the centroids and iterates until we find its optimal centroid that's the way the algorithm iterates again and again till it finds the center point of all those clustered uh, particles <clears throat> excuse me now this also assumes that the number of clusters are already known right it depends upon how you are going to classify those clusters it is also called the flat clustering algorithm it's the alternative name called flat clustering algorithm the number of clusters identified from data by algorithm is represented by k is the that's why it's called k means All right now let's move on to the IDE and let me open up uh, the python code to implement our k means algorithm so basically what is this so we are importing a package called warning and then numpy the pandas and the matplotlib and our favorite package scikit-learn all right now let's check uh, how many lines of code this has got about uh, Well, this is a pretty complex code. It's about 314 lines of source code, Python code available with a predefined hard-coded uh, values for you to understand how this works. All right, let me run this code and see. Okay, and it doesn't show up anything because yes, there is no data fade in this. Anyways, guys, so moving on. so you have the code with you you have the explanation of this k means clustering algorithm if you need the code i'll be happy to explain to you in a much better fashion do reach out to me goodbye